Hello everyone, this is Raprashanth. Welcome to our Python Automation Selenium series. Today we are going to see about the Python function and methods. First of all, what is a function? So function is a group of code or a group of action. So it will execute whenever it calls. Okay. So how the function look like? So function look like a default keyword and function name. Function name is a user defined. So you can provide any name as you wish and we can pass the parameters and we can write some statements inside a function. Okay. So first of all, we need to know how to create a function. So as I said earlier, we need to give a div keyword and I'm going to create it on add function. Okay. So I need to give a circle bracket and we need to give a colon. Okay. So here I'm initializing two variables. See this a equal to 10 and b equal to 20. So I'm going to add this both the value. Okay. A plus b doing addition. So after that, I need to print the value. Okay. So right now this is a method. So to create a method so how the next thing is how to call a function no, there is a method so how i call the function so we need to call the function like add sys so this so we need to call a function we need to give the method name and as well as we need to provide the uh, space so uh, next thing is we need to provide the spaces which mean a uh, four spaces in a between the methods okay and we i'm running a function see this the 30 is printed in a function. So this so we need to create a function and we can we can call n times. Okay, I'm so we can call any times as we wish in a function. See this? The 30 is printed twice. Okay. Okay. Come to the next. What is the argument? So what is the use of arguments? So think like a there is a calculator. The calculator is giving always 30. Is there any there use in this calculator? No. So we need to calculator need to provide a result based upon the input. So in our method, which is the which are the function is the input. So a and b is the input function. So I'm going to create another method def add based upon the argument giving some name. So here I'm passing a and b. So I'm giving a colon. So inside I'm only doing a a plus b. So so this a and b are the parameters okay and after that i'm printing the c value okay In the same case so how this time how to call a method so previously uh, we don't have argument so we call a simple method right now we have two arguments so how we will call the method so previously i'm creating add method i'm simply calling the add method without argument so i have created an argument method here so how i will call the this method so for argument methods, we need to pass two variables. Like I'm passing two and six for one on on combination. So again, I'm passing like thousand, uh, like and five thousand. Okay. So how I'll run this? Okay. See here. So based upon the, my input, the system is giving the printing the output. Okay. So that's the use of arguments so argument is used to do create a more combination based upon the input it will react okay so what next is written tape what is written suppose uh, here I, i'm i'm printing i'm not giving anything back so how do i give a value back okay for this we need to use a written things so i'm copying the same method here and i'm adding a, a written something so i need a only a c value from the result so we need to use a return keyword so what I want to return, I want to return the value of C. Okay. So right now how to call this method. So I'm coming here. So I'm call, I'm creating one variable. Okay. Result variable. So result equal to, I'm calling the add method. I'm returning a 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, anything. So I'm printing the result value. So right now what will I, when I'm calling the method, this method call itself to the method and it will do the a plus b action and it will return the value for me so i am while returning the value i am storing in a result variable and i am printing it okay so this is the use of return keyword so it will do so whatever action result is coming it will return a value for us so right now 6 is returned so this is the 6 value okay so what is the default parameters so default parameter is supposed sometimes you don't want to pass a value so how that time how we will act so we can make a default value if customer is not giving a value keep it as zero so if customer is not a uh, pass a value keep it as one so i'm giving a default value so this default value is if the customers didn't pass any value like I'm, I'm doing the same action here so see here i'm not passing any value 
okay i didn't pass any value to this method because i don't want to pass anything so in this case see this one is printed why because even though customer is not a give any user didn't give any input also my system will take the default value as assigned in the arguments okay so thanks for joining the class uh, if you have any doubts please put me in the comments uh, and uh, share and subscribe to your friends